What's up YouTubers? Today's Sunday morning and I am excited. I can't wait to get to the gym today. Oh, let me turn this down. And we will be training hammies today. Um, probably train by myself because I've got to go early um, and get it done because I've got a few things I need to do later today. I've got to go to an engagement and just a few other things. Um, might be having salmon Sundays later though, so we might be cooking it up. But yeah. Alright, first things first, sorting out my oats for the morning. So I'm going to have about 80 grams of that with a scoop of protein powder, some peanut butter, and just um, some berries. Now I'm going to sort out my tablets. So I need to take my multivitamin, immune defense, some garlic tablets to boost the immune system. I already had a CLA tablet. Um, I'll take my joint formula, which is this one, muscle tablets. So I'll take two of them, and that's it. Alright, so they're my tablets, and then these are the first couple of supplements that I take. So I take creatine monohydrate and a scoop of carnagen, which is L-carnitine, and this one has caffeine in it, which is always a bonus in the mornings. So basically, the carnitine is going to help me utilize fat stores for energy, and I find it's really good for focus. Like, it makes your brain just function better, and obviously creatine get the extra reps out, you know? So I have that with my breakfast. Um... Because you need oats or like something sugary with like um, carbs to push it into the muscle. So there we go. Just combining the flavours together. Whack some water in there. Stir it up. Wash it down. Yeah, even got some oats in there. Just boom. Just get it in ya. Those two products actually taste pretty good. They're not like down in the pre-workout raw. They taste good. The oats are ready. The oats are ready, girls. Oh, you beast. All right, first thing I do, I stir it up, and then I put some stevia on there, make it nice and sweet. So I just layer that shit on there. Don't be shy. There's no calories in stevia. So bam, sweeten it up. Then I'll get some peanut butter. And I'll put a tablespoon of peanut butter in there. Um, and then I'll put my berries on top and usually a banana as well. And then that's my oats. Yes, sir. Look at that colorful array of goodness. All right, so the last thing that I do for my oats is pour the sugar-free maple syrup all over there. I've got a tablespoon of peanut butter on there that you can't really see. And then I'm just going to mix it all together. And then I want to usually have about 500 mils of water when I wake up to just to rehydrate the body because when you're sleeping you don't realize that you go to the toilet over the night you don't drink any water for eight ten hours or whatever you get dehydrated and you don't want to, especially because I train first thing in the morning basically you don't want to train when you're dehydrated because you just had a sip of water or you have coffee even worse dehydrate you even more you know what I mean um, caffeine dehydrate you pre-workouts you know um, if you don't have water in the muscles it's very hard for your muscles to contract and get pumps so yeah that's it. Get the water in ya. I just got to the gym and I'm about to hit my pre-workout. Put a scoop of um, Dr. Jekyll in there. Ooh, look at that bubble. <laughs> um, and a scoop of Agmatine. For them extra big pumps. Boom. Alright. Ooh, I'm so excited. If you guys are wondering what Agmatine actually does, it helps... Um, produce NO2, which is basically like a blood supply to your muscles, um, and it also prevents the hydrogen ions from building up in your body, which are basically produced as a byproduct of high intensity training, um, and it causes fatigue. So the less hydrogen ions, the better. So that's what it does. Um, obviously, it gives you extra big pumps from the NO2 too. Two, two, two. That's it. All right, so I just did my first warm-up set, and I didn't train hammies last Sunday, because I went to Sydney for the weekend. I tell you what, they are tight. So it's gonna take me a little bit to loosen up, but um, should be all right, feeling fresh today, so good. Just realized that I forgot to foam roll, and I always make sure I foam roll before any sort of big movements like back day, leg day, hammies, um, basically just to loosen up the fascia that goes down the, the back of your, um, your body. So you got your slings, and um, they connect your upper body to your lower body and that, so yeah, they hold your muscle together, so if it's really tight, you're not going to be able to move too well. So I'm very big on um, 
mobility and stretching and emphasizing um, warming up the body properly before you actually start doing these heavy compound movements. Mainly because if you can't stretch and move the body properly, you're not going to be able to do it under load. So you need to prime the muscles and get them ready for the workout before you actually jump into doing something strenuous. And it's going to prevent injuries as well too. So I always make sure that I always foam roll, stretch and do a few warm-up sets properly before I start my heavy sets. movement so you know you're training more than one muscle it's not an isolated movement so it doesn't matter if you're bringing your glutes into it a little bit um, but yeah I like to do it because it brings up the size of your glutes if you have to squeeze hard at the top So I just finished up my last set. I did two sets on 110, and I really focused on the, um, the hammies more so than the lower back and the glutes. And on the last set, I really went down slow on the negatives. So it was rough. I'm puffed out. Start with the kickback. 
three sets on this. And um, I'm feeling really connected today, so full stack in it for about 12, 15 reps. Glutes is the um, hip thrust. Oh, it's out of focus. So, um, this is my compound movement. I don't know why, I always like to start with an isolated, then compound, then isolated for glutes, just to kind of get them warmed up a little bit before I hit these. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just jump straight into my heavy set because I'm already warmed up and uh, pump about three sets on 100. So this is the part of the workout where I start to tri-set standing calf raises, abductor machine, and some abs. So basically I do a set on each, and then I'll have a one minute rest, and then I'll do it again. So that way I get my heart rate going, and it's just more productive that way too. shower and I got changed real quick because I got to go to an engagement today so I've got my nice clothes on looking sharp oh shit not every day that you see me wearing clothes like this oh shit Taryn's here I'm gonna film her and I'm just gonna be, go bright red in the face when she sees a camera in her face oh look who it is <laughs> say hello to the channel what? Love? Yeah. <laughs> My name's Taryn. I'm 28 years old, currently single. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit.